All right, so we have two ordered pairs here, and we are tasked with finding the distance and the midpoint between the two. So let's start with the distance, right? The formula for the distance is this. Distance is equal to the square root of the change in x squared plus the change in y squared. So we just have to find the difference between these guys, and we're going to be fine. So the distance, let's see if we can find the change in x and the change in y. Well, if we look at this, to go from negative 5 to 7, think about how far apart these guys are. And again, if you want to draw a number line so that you can kind of visualize this, go for it. Um, but the difference between negative 5 and 7 is going to be 12. Right, if you just kind of think about it real quick, you know, here's 0, here's negative 5, and here's 7. How far apart are they? Don't say 2 units, they're not 2 units away. You've got 5 units from here to here, and you've got another 7 units to get there, so that's a total of 12 units apart. Similarly, if you look at the difference between negative 3 and 2, negative 3 is on the left side, 2 is on the right side, so how far apart are they? They are five units apart. Okay, so now that we've got this, I'm just going to do a bit of arithmetic. 12 squared is 144, and 5 squared is 25. Now remember, we're doing the difference here, but we're going to be squaring, so the signs don't really matter. Whether it's a positive or a negative here doesn't matter. Once you square those guys, they're both going to be positive. Remember that. All right, so 144 plus 25 is 169. And the square root of 169 is 13. So there you go. We have the distance between these two points is 13 units. Now, what about, what about the midpoint? Well, the midpoint, again, is really the easier of the two to work out. Because for the midpoint, you add the x-coordinates and you divide by 2. You add the y-coordinates and divide by 2 as well. Because the midpoint is the average of the x and the average of the y's. So let's work this out. m for my midpoint is going to be negative 5 plus 7 all divided by 2. And then for the y's, we have negative 3 plus 2, and that's going to be divided by 2. Please make sure that you put your x's together and you put your y's together and that you're copying from those order pairs correctly. All right, so here, negative 5 plus 7 is 2 over 2, and this becomes negative 1 over 2, but make sure that you do simplify. So m, your midpoint, is the order pair 1, negative one-half. And you see there's really not a whole lot of work here compared to some of the problems that we've already done this semester. This is probably one of the easiest things that you can do. All right, let's try another example. So here are two more order pairs, and let's see if we can find the distance and the midpoint. Again, every time you use a formula, you need to write it down. So the distance, again, is the change in x squared plus the change in y squared. All right, so let's see if we can find the change in x. So the change in x as we go from 72 to 76 is a change of 4. So that's 4 squared. And as I go from 29 to 21, um, I'd be losing 8, but again, it doesn't really matter if I put a positive or a negative inside here because I'm going to be squaring. All right, and then it's just a matter of working this out. So 4 squared is 16. 8 squared is 64. So we end up with the square root of 80. But then you want to simplify this. 
Okay, surely there's a way that we can reduce this. Now, when we split this up, you're going to find out that the winning combination is to break this down as 16 times 5. Okay, and again, both of these guys are inside square roots, and it's the square root of 16 that simplifies to give us 4. So my distance is 4 times the square root of 5. So you find the change in the x and y, you square those guys, and you work with the formula. And down here, make sure that you do simplify the radical, because we always simplify our answers. And then the last part here is to find the midpoint. All right, so we know the midpoint is going to be the average of the x. So add those guys, divide by 2. And it's going to be the average of the y's. All right, so let's see. The average of the x's, so we need to take 72 plus 76 and divide that by 2. And then the y's. 29 plus 21 divided by 2. All right, 72 plus 76 is 100. 48, that's going to be divided by 2. 29 plus 21 is 50 divided by 2. So the coordinates for my midpoint, half of 148 is 74, and half of 50 is 25. And hopefully this makes sense to you. Look at 74. 74 is halfway between 72 and 76. And 25 is halfway between 29 and 21. So that is our midpoint. This next example that you're going to see involves radicals. So it's going to be totally radical, right? 